Mambozenu from Masaki, the richest neighborhood in Tanzania. And I'm here to walk around, take a tour, and feel bad about myself. Let's go. All right, so over here you have the Sea Cliff Hotel, which is the most expensive hotel in the country, I think. Don't quote me on that, but it's at least the most expensive in Dar es Salaam. And check this out. <laughs> You know you're at an expensive hotel when you have a goddamn helipad right outside the hotel. So, um, if you're one of the uh, the rich expats or Tanzanians with a helicopter, you can just like roll up here, park here, then go into the casino and uh, bet the helicopter. Hini Casino? Yeah, Okay, okay. Ah, Jay, now where's that Cuchesa? Yeah, where's that Cuchesa? 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 Uh, camera. Napanya video ya Tanzania. Tanzanian Zima? No. You uh, have uh, permission from government? Uh, uh, no, do I need permission? Because there are some people here. The government people? This area is here. Mix, uh, some people have uh, government uh, oh. security. Okay, there's government people here. Yeah, they, they stay here, they come to eat here. Oh, they come to eat Any here? Any people they are allowed to eat so Okay, not, and if they see me with a camera, it'll be a big problem? Yeah, not okay. Okay, okay. To not allow this. Asante kaka. Okay. Na ondo. So, apparently there's this law in Tanzania where you're supposed to pay something like a thousand dollars to get a filming license. And uh, it, it's one of those laws in Africa that's rarely enforced unless you do something <laughs> to make it enforced. But uh, anyway, I don't really have a thousand dollars to uh, spare just to make a video walking around Dar es Salaam. So let's go film somewhere else. Nini, Nini. Okay. So this says that he is uh, deaf. Man, isn't this one of those scams? They do this in a lot of countries, yeah. Una weza kusika liza. Si amini. Si amini. Si! Like, una weza sika liza. You're lying. So one of the reasons why this neighborhood is more expensive than all the other ones is because originally a lot of countries built their embassies and their residences around here and that kind of drove up the local property prices and then that kind of made it like the desirable area to be like all the rich people moved in and the rest is history I guess while we're walking around I'm pretty sure we'll pass by at least two or three embassies now if you're from a rich country like the United States Europe whatever then you might take a look at these roads and think like, wow, that's, those are the roads of the rich area? <laughs> but actually, you gotta get out of here and then go check out the other neighborhoods because paved roads are still relatively uncommon in Tanzania and actually in a lot of parts of Africa. So to have a paved road, as uneven as it may be, <laughs> on a residential street is actually the height of luxury here. This is also a road in Masaki. So here you find not just the embassies, but also the international organizations like the United Nations, the UNCR, the World Bank. They all set up like their local headquarters here as well. I just had like a question, like what is the average property price out here? Is it like around like a hundred thousand USD or something like that? Yeah, but not a lot of money. It's something like not a crazy amount of money. Yeah, okay, no. not a million. Yeah, no, not a million. Okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. So you just gotta work hard a little bit and then sure. you can you can buy one someday. Sure. Okay. All right, bro. <laughs> That's done. All right, so the most rich person thing I can think of doing is going to a yacht club. And there's a yacht club right down the street there. But apparently, you need a membership to get in. I don't even know what you do in a yacht club. But anyway, we're going to find out. Hopefully, I can sneak in. I'm going to try it. We're going to see if it works. ID? ID, uh, I don't have a card. You remember? No. Remember uh, I just want to see. Can I see it? I, I want to become a member. Mm. Yeah. Can I tell you when I'm going to No. You have a friend now? Here? Emily Liki. Yupo. Yupo. Yeah. I just, I just want to see, I want to see. Kuwana too. Kuwana too, I have a friend here. I do have a friend here, yeah. Just call me. Okay. Sorry, bro, can I get your number? Yeah, Tommy. Like zero. Hey, can see you? Hello. Okay. Okay. Supposed to go to the office first. Okay. And then the office you can take that man. Yeah. Around the, everywhere. Oh, okay, okay. It's very confusing. Yeah, but there is more rules, you know. Yeah, very strict here. Okay, okay. Oh, Hassan. What's your name? Tommy. Tommy. Yeah. All right. I'll send you a message on the right. phone later. Okay. All right. See you. Later. Okay, I'm in. Not sure how long this will last. <clears throat> Is this what you do at a yacht club? Like you just dock your boat and then you sit on the beach? I didn't grow up with these things, all right? So I don't I don't know how this works. membership here uh, okay uh, <laughs> because you pay one fee that is a one-off yeah uh, which I don't remember now but it's Quite a substantial expensive. amount it's substantial yeah <laughs> yeah and then you pay are you alone um, or you have yeah family? I was alone yeah yeah, yeah of course it's also. cheaper if you're, oh, you're okay. a person yeah okay, okay and then you play pay a monthly subscription fee and you also oh, okay. have to be recommended by a member Wow. Yeah. yeah, you have to be recommended by another member and then yeah. uh, one or two and then you have to get signatures from oh, okay. uh, I guess yeah. this is the most exclusive place in Dublin. Oh it's very exclusive. <laughs> also, yeah. I feel very excluded at the Oh yeah yeah. <laughs> and I have also to do some uh, water activities before. Yeah, yeah, I feel uh, sure that to sign that you actually are a serious not just hanging in the bar and drinking you get your Oh okay. That, that, that would have been me to be honest, but like maybe I would have like gone on a boat once in a while. But yeah yeah. I was yeah. only going for the bar. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Alright, thank you anyway. Yeah. Bye. Oh man. Guys, I'm just really not that good at being a rich white guy i gotta be honest i feel really uncomfortable in places like that i don't know why probably because i'm poor <laughs> but anyway so there you have it if you have a ton of money and you have a yacht and multiple people have recommended you 
and you do a billion other things, then you can get membership there. And you can park your yacht there and you can finally get a beer. Okay. <laughs> so here is Slipwave, which is probably the most expensive like shopping slash restaurant area in Dar. Another kind of a exclusive-ish area, but you don't need to buy some uh, crazy membership to go in here. Also, I'm pretty sure I'll actually find more local Tanzanians here, so uh, let's go in. It's the people that live in Masaki. <laughs> what jobs do they do? There is a lot of jobs. There is a hotel, apartment, as you see, there is a workshop. Okay. There is a shop, as a shop. There is a cell phone, bankers. Bankers? Yeah. Okay, okay. A little bit of everything then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, mambo. Uh, need, need the car. Okay, son. Kuna beer gani? Okay. Una penda nini? Mimi. Mimi Okay. Yeah, yeah. Wine. Wine. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Oh, who, who pendi beer? Yeah, okay. I want the light. Okay. Crystal light? Crystal light, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll yeah. take that. Now I'm by here. Crystal light. Crystal light. I remember you were doing Rafiki. Kua Rafiki I actually met like some really cool Tanzanians while I was sitting down drinking a beer there. They just didn't want to be on camera. But uh, they're talking about the, uh, the local startup scene here, about the differences between Tanzania and some other countries. Pretty nice. Tanzanians are really nice people. Call Bubi? You. Yeah, okay. You do now. Okay. Samaki, Ipu, or Wapu? Okay, okay. Mbali, Mbali sana? Si sana, wastani tu. Okay. Samaki wapo. Like if I wanted to buy a house, how much would it cost? Here? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. You don't know? Yeah. Okay. What about in Busy Beach? You know that? Busy Beach, you must have to start like 50 million. 50 million? Yeah. Not dollars. No. Shillings. I think. Tanzania shillings. Tanzania shillings. Yeah. Okay. 50 million. That's like 25, is that $250,000 I think? Mm, I don't know how much it is. <laughs> So, something like that, something like that. I'm working there at Waterfront, so maybe you can come later, you can have a dinner. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. You're working at Waterfront? Yes, there. Oh, that's cool. They're hostess. Okay, you're yeah. a hostess there. Okay, yeah, cool. my name is Rabia. Okay, maybe I'll stop by later. Okay. Yeah. Do you think you'll give me a beer? I will. Oh yeah, that's yeah, very sure. nice to you. Awesome, awesome. Alright, so that's about it for uh, Masaki, the richest area in Tanzania don't have too much else to say. If you got money, it's probably pretty fun. If you don't have money, it probably sucks. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna go to the waterfront and uh, see if I can get that free beer I couldn't get at the Yacht Club. I'll see you guys next time.